Hi guys, welcome back. Um, something a little bit different again today. Um, there are an awful lot of videos on YouTube showing uh, uh, the process of uh, cleaning injectors and extracting them and polishing the ports and all the rest of it um, from the top of the engine. Um, but I haven't been able to find anything that actually explains what's going on inside the uh, the injector sleeve or inside the engine itself. Uh, so I thought I'd just uh, do a little scribble of a cross section of the engine here um, and show you what's going on. So a quick walkthrough of the tools that we're going to be using as well um, for a later video I'll do when I actually pull an injector and clean the ports up. But I thought it'd just be useful to show you exactly what's going on and what the various different parts of the tools do. Um, and the, really there are three tools that we might need to use uh, when we're working on injectors. So the, uh, the first of those tools is uh, one of these. It's a, a slide hammer uh, that is used for uh, removing copper washers when they get stuck in the end of the cylinder. We have cleaning kits, port polishing kits like this one. I'll come on to this in a few moments. Um, and if things need to be escalated to the next level then you can get reaming kits like this um, to uh, really go at the bottom of the cylinder if it needs at uh, the bottom of the, um, the port if you will this section here if it gets really messy so basically what we've got and you've all seen injectors before I'm sure held in with a couple of stretch bolts at the top uh, with a plate that keeps the tension on a spring plate sitting against a spacer held in place by um, a, a a little circlip type of a vibe, it's a wire circlip. Um, at the other end here there is a copper washer and the copper washer forms a seal between the end of the injector uh, and the end of the uh, little port, the little hole there that goes into the combustion chamber at the, uh, at the top of the, uh, uh, the cylinder and uh, the, uh, the injector squirts fuel into here I haven't drawn the, uh, the valves on, but the valve allows uh, air in to mix, compression stroke causes an explosion, on the return stroke the uh, exhaust gas is forced out. But basically what we're looking at here is just the uh, injector piece. So as I mentioned already, at the bottom of the injector there is a copper gasket, a little washer, and these things are single use only, you have to replace them with a fresh one every single time. They often leak and Basically, with the amount of compression that's going on in the chamber, the um, exhaust gases can blow up and around. We can also get a little bit of diesel, we can get all sorts of tar and carbon, all sorts of other horrible nasties that can really glue these things in place. So you might need to use an injector puller to drive these things out, but that's one for another video. Anyway, just to recap, the injector itself just sits in the sleeve, is pulled down nice and tight by these two stretch bolts and uh, squishes a crush washer at the bottom that forms a seal. Now when we're removing these injectors as I've mentioned there can be a lot of crud builds up around the, uh, the, the, the length of the injector itself and that can cause all manner of problems with the extraction process, mostly friction. So what we need to do anyway, once we've removed these two bolts, and that's the easy part, oftentimes you might need to squirt some kind of uh, um, effectively carb cleaner type liquid down the sides of the injectors to eat away at all of the, the junk that's built up on the injector itself. Eventually you might be able to wiggle it out, twist it out at the top or use an injector puller, that's one for another time. Uh, to actually remove it, but once you have taken the injector out of the picture, so that's gone, we're left with a whole bunch of rubbish all over the inside of the injector sleeve and at the end there could well be the actual gasket itself still stuck onto the, uh, the end surface there. Um, where the, the tip of the injector goes 
but of course because this is so far down inside the engine it's very very difficult to actually get at that. Now the last thing you want to do is risk scratching these surfaces here so you don't want to use a pick or anything like that and this is where the first of these specialist tools comes in. So this is called an injector puller and what it does is a little slide hammer that you basically use to tap the thing out but basically it just twists into the component, you can see the screw thread there, twists into the, uh, the washer that's stuck on the bottom of the cylinder and then once you've got that you use the slide hammer basically to just pull it loose and lift it out. Okay so I've seen lots of videos of people using these things but no one ever actually explains what it's doing. That is what it is doing. Basically we are using the screw thread on the extraction tool to screw into the washer in place, give it a good solid connection and then just using the slide hammer aspect of it to uh, basically pull that out of place. They're quite expensive for what they are, that was about £35-40, pounds, something like that. Um, I'll put a link to all of these tools uh, down below in the description, they're all freely available. Um, but this is an absolute must if you're going to be working on injectors that have been leaking. The reason being that when they leak, all of that rubbish and carbon and tar builds up around the end and it is a dead cert that this is going to be glued into the end and very, very difficult to get out with any other tool. So that is first of the must-have tools if you're working on in, uh, your uh, injectors. Uh, this one is a, uh, a Fuxig tool uh, and called a diesel injector seal puller, a diesel injector seal removal tool. So that's number one. So once we have the washer out, we need to clean up what's left of the, uh, the, the carbon and so on in the cylinder itself. And it's really, really important that you do clean it very, very thoroughly because if there is any contaminants in there that stop the copper washer, the new nice fresh washer we're going to be putting in from sealing properly and seating properly, then you're going to have exactly the same problem that you're trying to fix. Now, this is an injector puller. Oh, sorry, injector puller, am I talking about? This is the uh, injector uh, polishing, port polishing kit. Um, and there are plenty of videos of people using these on YouTube, again, but always from the top of the engine, not actually showing you what's going on. So each of these components has a part to play, although with your particular engine, you will only need a brush and one of the two uh, end polishers. You need one of these. You'll need the bar for that. I'll come to that in a second. I've seen people using these wrong as well, basically just using it as a way of plugging the hole to fire an airline through, that kind of thing. We're going to need this to hold the brush. Um, and we're going to need this. Come to that in a second. But really, depending on the size of your engine, you've got various different options in this kit. So what do these parts do? Well, simply enough, we are going to be using the various different bits of the kit to clean the various different surfaces that can be fouled with carbon. Let's start with the obvious one. This is a very, very useful wire brush when it comes to cleaning up not just the surfaces in here, in fact this has very little to do with cleaning the actual port, but it does have a lot to do with cleaning the injector itself because of course remember as well as this surface being perfectly clear, it is really important that the injector itself is also perfectly smooth um, to form a nice seal when that goes back in afterwards. Okay, so this one is pretty much just for cleaning up the uh, the carbon and soot that you may have on the end of the injector itself. Okay, so that is that wire brush. Now, the little top hat thing, and I've seen these used a number of times, sits in here. Okay, and it's specifically designed to sit with the lip, the lip on it there, stopping it pushing in, but it sits where the end of the injector goes. 
and that stops any rubbish, any of the scrapings, the, the bits of carbon all of the crud that's going to be brushed off the side of these chambers. It stops them from going into the cylinder. And the way that you apply these is you screw it very lightly onto the end of the insertion tool. You feed that down from the end into location, give it a little bit of a push and wind the insertion tool back out and you leave that in there through the whole process. Okay. Now I've seen a few people who have videos where they, they kind of pop these things in, pop an airline uh, in, an airline blower in and sort of blow all of this dust out but by that point the damage has already been done. You could have, could have ended up with rubbish um, contaminants that could scratch the liner of the cylinder making it past into the cylinder itself. So the whole point of these things, and there's six of them for six cylinder engines of course, um, but the whole point of them is that you insert them from the top into location, remove the insertion tool, and then with that there we can then get on with the business of cleaning the cylinders. Now these have uh, connections that go into a normal impact driver or you can pop them into the piece that comes with the kit and stick it in a normal power drill. Either which way, if you use an extension bar for an impact driver, just be sure that it is going to lock in place because these things would be a pain to get back out if they separate whilst they're in the actual engine itself. So what we're going to do, we're going to pop that in from the top of the engine with this piece in place still. We're basically just going to polish the port all the way down. And you'll note that that goes inside but doesn't actually push the thing all the way in. So that stops you from getting too far down the cylinder and actually damaging any of the surfaces. So all you've got is the tips of the bristle brush, um, the, the wire brush here, polishing the sides and then coming back out. So we're then going to change the tool over to the other of the two attachments. And this one has plastic fingers that are going to polish the bottom of the port. And same again, we're going to pop this in with this still in place, give it a good blast, and then pull it back out. So now we've wire brushed, we've polished the bottom of the port, the old gasket's out. At this point you can uh, pop this back in if you like to just make sure that that doesn't blow out whilst you put an airline blower in to just fire everything clean back out. But at that point we have a nice shiny port, nice and clean at the bottom. We take the top hat back out, pop it away and then we're ready to insert a new copper gasket onto the end of the injector usually with a little spot of grease just behind it to stop it falling off because these things are quite a loose fit. And then we just reinsert into the sleeve. That sits nice and tight and the bolts hold it back in place. Now sometimes what happens is that at the end here polishing it alone is not enough. So if we've had a period of a, a extended period of time where um, we've had some blow by past this, there's lots of carbon build up. It could be that you actually need to be a little bit more aggressive with cleaning up the bottom of this port to get it nice and flat. So that's when we would use a reamer tool. So the injector reamer looks like this. You don't need many of these tools you will need the one that's right for your engine, for the D5 engine I believe it is the 1719. You need the gadget that it attaches onto. Okay. Note that this is the same diameter as the uh, injector itself. So this actually goes into the hole, I'll show you that in a second. We're going to use the little allen key just to secure that in place. Note that there's a flat section. Okay, so the little Allen key is going to hold that in place. Don't want to go crazy, but again, you don't want to lose the end of your tool actually in the, uh, the port itself. Okay, and then at the other end, we have this, which is a winder that allows you to very slowly and with a lot of control turn the end. 
So what we're going to do with this, it will come to no surprise I'm sure, is we're going to insert this again in through the injector hole. That's going to go in the slot to, to stop anything finding its way down into the cylinder again. Okay, and with the uh, T-bar on the top of it, we're going to just slowly turn that. Now a tip on this, and you'll see some still on here from the last time I've used this actually, is big blob of grease around the end here. That way if there's any little bits of swarf, any little filings, then they stick in the grease and they come back out when you remove the tool. But what we're going to be doing with this, as I say, is we're going to be inserting it into location, twisting it round very, very gently to put a nice flat surface ream, a nice flat surface there on the bottom of that injector port. It might be an idea thereafter to put the top, back, top hat back in as before. Let's just do that, put the top hat back in, remove the insertion tool, give it another polish, remove the, insert, uh, remove the top hat, and if it's all nice and clean, then we're ready to reinsert the injector with a nice fresh copper washer. So that pretty much is the entire process, all the tools that are involved, all the different tools that you can use. So to recap, if you need to uh, just clean the ports up, really what we're talking about is wire brushes uh, or plastic bristle brushes in this case, just to clean the carbon off the inside of the cylinder. You need to take it to the next level, we can use a reaming tool, but be very, very careful with these. Remember that the head's made of aluminium, you can do a lot of grinding very, very quickly, and you don't want to thin this section too much. Also, never forget to uh, tighten the tool on nice and firm, otherwise you can lose that end piece right down here. It's difficult to get out. Okay, so uh, that's a reaming tool. And uh, don't forget that with these copper washers, they do get pretty badly messed up, as you can see from this one here, they are single use, they must, you must use a fresh one of these every single time. Um, and of course if the old one is glued in place, you might need to use an extractor tool. These things, as I say, not cheap, but absolutely, without exception, they're, they're going to get the job done every single time. You just wind it in using the knurled section on the end, and then tap it back out. So there you go, that is the, uh, the tools, that's the approach, uh, and the next video I post on this subject will be uh, something I've mentioned in an earlier video, which is that I'm going to pop out the number 4 injector on my XC90 uh, D5 engine, and um, at the very least replace that copper washer. So when you, uh, when you see that video, at least you'll know what's going on down inside the head as I uh, kind of feed these tools in one after another. As I say, just wanted you to kind of understand in cross-section what's going on because all of the other videos on these tools I've been able to find have looked at the top of the engine and only described what's going on. Very difficult to visualise if you don't know what you're talking about. So, thank you very much for watching. Um, as you've made it this far, I'm going to assume that this has been uh, at least of interest to you. So, uh, if you could do me a favour and just hit that like button, um, that will uh, give... YouTube a good clue that I'm doing a half decent job here and they're uh, more likely to recommend this kind of content to other people in the future. Um, and uh, don't forget also to uh, hit the uh, subscribe button um, and if you click the bell um, when that next video comes up you'll get a notification just to let you know it's there. Thanks very much guys. Um, I will uh, see you next time. Take care.